Hi, my name is Alan Hooper. I'm with Southwire Company. We're here at the Southwire Solutions University where we do training for productivity and safety. We're going to explain today how to set up the, both the 3K puller and the 6K puller for overhead, underground, and sideways pulls. So to start off with first, I want to, we first, safety first and foremost, proper PPE. So your gloves, your work boots, your glasses, your hard hat, whatever job require, other job requirements you have, always have your PPE there and available. So to explain the differences in our 3K puller and our 6K puller, is they're both pretty much identical. The only difference are these conduit adapters. These are C-clamps on the 3K, and we have much bigger, more durable conduit adapters for the 6,000 pound puller. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how to easily remove the equipment from the cart, hand, hand positions. So what I like to do first is remove the main unit by stepping on the, the cart foot pad, putting my hand right here where it's almost like a hand handle, pulling my foot pad loose, setting it on the ground as soon as possible to reduce back strain. Secondly, we have the extension arm that attaches to the conduit. You're gonna remove the clip pin out of here and this is always set up for me for this situation. But one hand goes right here. I just lift it about two inches off the ground, set it in front of my main unit. It's as simple as that. When you do that, there are really no pinch points. It's when you want to use two hands, you get to pinch points. Next thing I want to do is lift this arm up, remove this pin, set this sleeve to where it needs to go. And depending on where it needs to go is based on how much room you have to set up your puller and how much tail you need. This other pin attaches right into the base unit. You straddle the base unit and pick it up just slightly, it'll just feed right in. Really no effort whatsoever. Again, insert my pin. What I like to do next is grab my puller right here. Make sure that is flush and pop that in. And we take our clip pin and insert that into the other end. like so. At that point, I'm ready to set this on my conduit and make a wire pull.